Hello, my name's Gary Weir. I'm CFA's manager of Forestry Industry Brigades and Wildfire Planning. The truck behind me is a new build for CFA, an ultra heavy tanker. For many years, our members, especially out in the far west and the north, have been telling us that we've got to build a bigger tanker, a tanker that carries more water so they don't have to continuously go back and refill like they do with our smaller trucks. So what we've built here is a truck that carries 9,000 litres of water for them, built on a Hino cab chassis and about 24 tonnes in weight. This truck here means for our volunteers that where they're grass firefighting in the flatter country, they've now got the opportunity with 9,000 litres of water to operate on the fire line at least twice as long as what they used to. That means that they're going back to refill half as many times. Now that's a huge increase in productivity for our members out in those grassed areas. This tanker is used for grass firefighting and general firefighting, especially where we've got issues with not having access to reticulated water or close by to large quantities of static water. It can be used for grass firefighting, it can also be used in those remoter areas for a lot more even urban type firefighting in that it carries 9,000 litres of water. Being an ultra large tanker it's built a bit differently from tankers that we've traditionally built in the past. This truck is all about supplying water in areas where water access is remote. For that reason it hasn't got a lot of lockers on it. It's a very big truck putting lockers on it where they're actually accessible was challenging. So its urban ability is limited however where you've got your rural areas which are remote from water this truck will come into its own with the 9,000 litres of water it carries. Aside from its limited urban capability it's set up generally like most of our tankers in regards to how you fill the truck, how it actually delivers the water. It's a GAM Mark 300 pump, three cylinder diesel and its capacity is about 1400 litres of water a minute. It shouldn't be confused with our bulk water carrier which we've also just recently introduced into service. The bulk water carrier is not a firefighting appliance, however it is able to carry 11,500 litres of water. This tanker, which is our ultra heavy tanker, is set up for firefighting. It has a crew protection system on it. It has a front monitor for firefighting and it carries nine and a half thousand litres of water. This can self fill with the pump and it takes about six minutes to fill from a static water supply. This tanker, like all tankers traditionally, has the ability for a crew to operate on the deck, provision for two members to work there. It also has a front monitor. 450 litres per minute maximum, has a foam system A-class. The A-class foam tank is 200 litres, which is a lot bigger than most of our other tankers in service. This truck is on tour along with another one that's pretty well identical to this. One truck is currently on tour in the far northwest with um, Ops Officer Matt Gardner conducting that tour. And the other truck is on tour with Toddy Small, one of our contractors showing it around, doing the rest of the state. For the next few months, both will be available for the various brigades to have a look at and they'll have a chance to actually use it and have a look at how it's designed. There also can be discussions in regards to how this bigger truck can be used within the district at a strategic level. This truck requires a heavy licence to operate at 24 tonnes. This is new to CFA in the rural area. Traditionally, our trucks have all been designed around operating with a medium rigid licence. When we've been talking to our members out west and in the far northwest, they're indicating this should not be too much of a problem in that it's quite common for their members already to have heavy licences. Both of these trucks will be going into service this summer and they're all located currently in the far northwest of the state. Going on, we are looking at making them available generally across the state where there's a need for these style of trucks and brigades should be talking to their local districts in regards to where they could be best located to meet the needs. Thanks for your time today. Um, it's been great to be able to explain this new vehicle in CFA service and we're looking forward to seeing more of them out there in the field. Thank you.